So what does the thyroid hormone actually do? So when the thyroid hormone, specifically T3, which is referred to as the active hormone, it will actually increase the transcription of a specific protein called a sodium potassium ATPase. And this little protein will actually go to the membrane of the cell and push out sodium and take in potassium. But as you may have figured out from the name, this actually requires ATP. And this is the energy currency of a cell. Therefore, for a period of time, the cell actually gets low on energy. And as a result of getting low on energy, will increase the amount of the organelle required to create more energy, which are mitochondria. So now that we have more mitochondria inside the cell, we are able to make more energy. But this energy has to come from somewhere. So the thyroid hormone will also stimulate an increased oxygen consumption and it will help us increase the amount of glucose and triglycerides that we release into the bloodstream. So now the cell has a greater ability to create energy and it has more energy available. Therefore, we will start metabolizing more energy, and this is the premise of thyroid increasing our metabolism. And if you're wondering why an increased thyroid increases our body temperature, it's because the result of metabolism is actually the production of heat, which means there are two really good indicators that we actually have more of the active thyroid hormone being produced. The first is an increase in body temperature, meaning that we have raised our metabolic rate. And the other can actually be measured on a blood test, and this is carbon dioxide. And the reason for this is because if we are consuming and using more oxygen, we will be producing more carbon dioxide. And if we have a low thyroid, we'll use less oxygen and produce less carbon dioxide.